Hi, third grade. I'm going to run you through our science activity today really quick just so that you know exactly what to do. All right. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download the paper that looks like this, our attachment to notability. Then you are going to read this top section. This is our Stemscopedia day two. There's only four paragraphs and they're pretty short. It's all about how animals choose their mates. So the one that they want to be together with. So You'll learn about that, why they make those decisions, and then you're going to start a research project. It's just a short one. We're finishing it today, okay? So in that red box below, kind of in the middle of our paper, it says three steps. Choose one of the three animals shared on the next pages. You have a choice. You can choose the Galapagos tortoise, the hissing cockroach, or the gibbon. Only three choices. I'm going to tell you that it kind of goes from easiest to hardest in terms of reading the story or the text, okay? So you can see after the reminder page that here's the one about the tortoise, here's the one about the hissing cockroach, and then the last one is two pages and it's about that gibbon. So you'll pick which animal you choose and you're going to write it down here. So if you choose the hissing cockroach, you're going to write the animal I chose was a, and you're going to type hissing cockroach. Step two says, read the passage about your chosen animal aloud to yourself. So I would go to my passage, okay, and I would read that aloud to myself. I'm going to read all of this information only about the animal that I chose. I don't need to read the other ones, only the one I chose. Step three, answer the questions below about that animal. So we've already answered number one about what one you chose. The second question is asking you, what is one physical characteristic or trait that helps them survive? And how does it help them survive? So remember, your page two will have some rem reminders for you. And that when you are looking for physical characteristics, you're talking about what they look like on their body. So we can have inherited or acquired traits. We've talked about that scars, um, beak sizes, body coverings, body shapes, appendages, like arms, legs. Um, methods of movement, okay? Those are all physical characteristics. So you'll just list one, only one thing about that animal. And then you're going to have to explain how that feature helps them survive. Second one, or number three says, what is one behavior that helps them survive? Okay, how does it help them survive? So remember, here's some information about behaviors. You're going to have to go to your passage. Don't look it up on Alexa. Don't look it up on Google. It's all in the passage, okay? You should have an example in your passage. I double checked to make sure they all have one. So what's one behavior, one thing they do that lets them survive, okay? Or helps them stay alive. You'll write that one behavior down, and then you'll explain how does it help them survive. Now, for these two questions, number two and three, you should probably have at least, I, I, it would be hard to put it in one sentence. I would assume you would need two sentences for those. Number four says, what is one way that they attract a mate? Okay, so then you're going to read your article. It will say something about how they attract a mate. You need to put it in a complete sentence. Once you have questions one through four done in complete sentences, then you may submit it to Schoology. Happy reading.